pet owners tonight as the canine flu shuts down several local animal shelters. One of the nation's top canine influenza experts says that dog owners need to take this virus seriously to help stop the spread. Eight on your side's Melissa Marino joining us live at the Davis Islands Dog Park with more on this. Melissa. Well, hey there, Keith. First of all, don't tell my dog we're here. This is his favorite spot to go. But right now, experts are saying that these busier areas and the more social dogs, they're going to be the ones going to boarding facilities and parks like this. They will be the ones that are more likely to get this. And there's already been dogs that have died in Hillsborough County. We showed you last week as the Pet Resource Center moved dogs to another facility to quarantine. The Humane Society of Tampa Bay is also not accepting new dogs, all due to an outbreak of canine influenza. Lots of coughing for two weeks or more, as well as um, a runny nose or nasal discharge and just not feeling that great. Dr. Cinda Crawford with the University of Florida College of Veterinary Medicine co-discovered the canine influenza virus and helped develop a vaccine. She says these drastic measures are critical to stopping outbreaks. This uh, canine influenza virus is highly contagious. Dr. Crawford is urging pet owners to get their dogs vaccinated and limit your dog's social interaction. Lots of boarding kennels, uh, lots of daycare centers, and like I said, even um, uh, you can have like an epidemic in a veterinary clinic if one sick and shedding infectious dog comes into that clinic. Emma Blanchard learned the canine flu was going around after getting a call from her vet. Now she's taking precautions like not boarding her dogs. Kind of scary. My puppies are my babies, um, but you know, we take really good care of them and we do everything that we can to prevent them from getting sick. And I did receive an update from the Pet Resource Center. They tell me their first round of dogs have cleared the flu. That means they are back at the shelter and starting tomorrow, they will be up for adoption. However, they are still not accepting any new dogs. The Humane Society of Tampa Bay also still not accepting any new dogs. However, they are also adopting out dogs right now. Reporting live, I'm Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.